Now, to get started on how to make your homemade green salsa, you only need five simple ingredients. First, you'll need jalapeno peppers. I personally like jalapenos, but you can swap these out for serrano peppers if you like your salsa a little bit more spicy. Cilantro. These are green tomatoes. Tomatillos is what they're also known as. Garlic cloves. And then you're going to want some of this. The chicken-flavored boyin. Boyan. However you want to pronounce it. Next, you're obviously going to want to peel the leaves off of your green tomatoes. And then you're also going to want to rinse your jalapeno. Honestly, your tomato to jalapeno proportioning is pretty much up to you. I usually like to have more tomato than pepper because, like I said, I personally don't like mine spicy. So about six small medium tomatoes to regular size jalapenos. And then we... Rinse. Rinse, 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 rinse. Next, you're going to want to transport your rinsed food into a pot. Now that you have your pot full with your food for your salsa, you're just going to want to fill it to where... All your tomatoes and jalapenos are almost covered. You don't need too much water. About that much should be fine. Then you put your tomatoes and jalapenos on the stove. I set my stove to medium high. And then all you want is your tomatoes and jalapenos to get soft. So we'll just leave this here for a bit. As we're waiting for the tomatoes and jalapenos to soften, we're gonna rinse and start cutting up our cilantro, and then we're gonna pull out some of these garlic gloves. Now you're going to want to also rinse your cilantro. After you rinse it, pat it dry a bit, move it onto a board where you'll be able to cut it. Now you're gonna wanna cut this into small pieces um, honestly, it doesn't matter because at the end we're going to blend everything together, so don't worry about it looking like you're on Top Chef. As you can see, this is how I cut it. And that should be more than enough for the salsa we need. Also, a lot of these ingredients are add as you want. There's no like specific measurements. A lot of it's eyeballing. My mom taught me how to do this. So, next you're going to want at least three to four garlic cloves. Now I obviously got a pretty good boil going on. I'm gonna turn my heat onto medium just so it's easier for you guys to see what's going on. But also you're gonna wanna like move your tomatoes around, flip them over, because as you can see, as they get soft, they start turning slightly brown. But that's good, that's exactly what you want. So just move them around, make sure all the sides get evenly boiled, softened. Just keep an eye on it. And if you need to turn the heat down on your stove, that's perfectly fine. Another thing you want to start getting ready is your blender. And if you don't have a blender, that's fine. I use the Nutribullet. So, just going to want to make sure it's clean and ready. Another thing you're going to notice as you're boiling your tomatoes, some of them are going to start cracking and ripping, which is perfectly fine. And that's what you want. But some of them might start doing it before others. And that's just because of how big they are. I don't know how that works, but when that happens, I start fishing them out with a fork. You can use tongs, anything, a spoon, and then I put it into the blender bowl cup or whatever you really want to call this. So I'm pretty sure you can't tell that well because of the steam. This one is already split. So what I'll do is I'll grab it. This is probably not the best way and I have tongs. You see how it's split? put it in there let it cool for now and as these start to soften and split like that I'll just start putting them in here once your tomatoes are all completely changed color they're not green anymore they're like this brown color and the jalapenos have been sitting in there just as long as the tomatoes we can start moving all the tomatoes into here the splitting isn't necessary but if they start to split before they all are evenly colored like this, then that's when you're gonna wanna move it like I did that one. 
So before I put the jalapenos in here with the rest of the tomatoes, I'm gonna put them on a separate plate and I'm gonna cut the stems off real quick. And then when you put them on the plate, you're gonna wanna turn the water off. You're not gonna wanna dispose of this yet. We're still gonna use some of it later. So as of right now, we have our garlic cloves, cilantro, we have our softened tomatoes, and jalapenos and all we're gonna do is cut this off after you cut the stems off the jalapenos then you can add them to the blender once you have your jalapenos in there this is when i said you're gonna start wanting to eyeball it if you're a cilantro lover add a lot if not then don't i usually just kind of eyeball it And then you're going to want to add your garlic cloves to the mix. And then once you got it looking like that, you're going to want to open up your seasoning. I measure it by a teaspoon. I usually get about two good teaspoons. So one. Two. I'll just add another half because why not when you got your cup looking like this I usually get a measuring cup I use the one-fourth cup and I'll just grab some of that water and add it to this just so it's easier for blending and to be specific I did about two of those in here so now that we got all of this ready, we're going to put it on our Nutribullet and we're going to pulse it slowly. And after you blend it, you can blend it more if you want it to be a smooth consistency. I don't really care because it's going to taste good regardless. Do a little taste test. And it's done.